Hello, this is a short PowerPoint on the methods of an integrative psychotherapy. Erskine, 1988-2017. So Richard Erskine talks about these methods, which are the hallmark of an integrative psychotherapy process in um, most of his books, uh, many of his articles, perhaps um, talked about most in Beyond Empathy and Art and Science of Relationship in the 1990s. However, in most of his articles you will find um, uh, these methods. Okay then, so the methodology or series of methods if you like are the use of inquiry in an integrative psychotherapy, use of attunement in an integrative psychotherapy, and the involvement of the psychotherapist in an integrative psychotherapy. So let's look at inquiry. Um, we can break inquiry transactions into historical inquiry transactions and phenomenological inquiry transactions. If we look at a phenomenological inquiry, it will be inquiring about the internal and external uh, phenomenological experience of the client. So for example, how is that for you? Well tell me a little bit more about that. So we're going deeper into their internal experience and helping them bring that experience into the present moment. Historical queries are really historical questions. So, oh, as you talk about that, does that remind you of anyone in your history? So it's just specific historical questions. Attunement, uh, the second uh, method, which Erskine talks about, has four different levels. Um, rhythmic attunement, developmental attunement, cognitive attunement, and emotional attunement. So let's take the first, rhythmic attunement. So this is really um, concerned with pacing, getting into the rhythm of the client that you're sitting next to. So you're really attuned to their internal rhythm and more importantly, perhaps their external rhythm. Um, so you've got a sense of real fine attunement. Developmental attunement is thinking, what age is this person in front of me in terms of their development? Um, so for example, if they're going to be three, you have to bear that in mind in terms of how you attune to the three-year-old or the seven-year-old or the teenager-old. Um, I think that's really important, especially when we think of the parent-adult-child model of eager states here. Um, then we think of a cognitive achievement, that's um, coming alongside their frame of reference, um, their thinking. And finally, the emotional level, sometimes we talk about the affect level here, the different types of emotions, and um, really attuning to those levels of emotion. And finally, the third uh, set of methods here, if you like, is um, around involvement and how the therapist um, isn't just concerned with active listening, but also concerned in such aspects um, of uh, potency, high level of presence, and looking all the time, you know, how to make contact um, in a contact-oriented psychotherapy. Okay, those are the three methods um, which are at the hallmark, really, of teaching therapists how to come alongside clients, um, to look at the disowned, cut-off parts of the client, and how to um, really help the client get to those places using these sets of uh, methodology.